Hi, welcome to this video. This is not a tutorial. This is a broadcast of news. What's going on at the headquarters of Arch Merch? What's the team doing? Well, I have five points in this video for you. One, yes, we will launch Arch Merch and Arch Merch 6.5.1 on the 1st of March, which is tomorrow. Two, then we'll make a new desktop uh, tutorials and articles about awesome, awesome wm.org if you want to take a look. Three, we're never going to make any Arch Merch again. No ISOs of Arch Merch. There's this rebranding idea we have. Stop using the word Arch Merch and go to Arco Linux. Four, what effect does this have for you? What should you know? Where are the websites? What social media is there, etc. Five, how about the mid long term and the long term vision? What do you intend to do? And we conclude with, uh, well, the conclusion, basically. Point one is about Arch Merch. Arch Merch and Arch Merch have been tested. I've been working on it since 20 February. So everything works just fine. And we'll put these ISOs online in SourceForge in about 10, 10 hours or so. Okay. Now, if you want to know what's going on, what's the difference, do, should I upgrade and all that? Well, here it is. You can see here what changed in the Arch Merge 6.5.1 compared to 6.4.1. We are not your typical distro. I think you gathered that if you're using it already. So we do like to theme and like to tweak our system. And it often means that we have to do something in this ETC scale. There we need to do something. The other things, well, they just come in in user share and that's completely rolling and everything works. So check this out. These are all the changes we've done and everything is described as well for Arch Merged. So here's the GNOME. We've developed awesome and in a few weeks time, we just have to make the tutorials. So that's point one. Yes, we're going to launch tomorrow. Two, is this awesome thing, It's it has not stolen his name, it's an awesome desktop environment. We're going to tweak it and change it and explain it, of course, in tutorials so you can use it as well. So that's this look. It's a tiling manager. Okay, that's number two. Number three is our rebranding. And the rebranding was already simmering in my head. But when preparing for the interview of uh, Destination Linux, Rocco and Ryan, you sort of are pulled out of the time stream. I mean, well, I'm a sci-fi guy, but I mean, you, you pause your life and you say, OK, what, what was the past? What's the present? And where do you want to go? And if you're new to Arch Merge, then I have to give a little quick chronological intro. We have this Arch Merge idea, which is a merger of XFCE Openbox i3, mix them together, give people a learning path, XFCE being, being well, easiest between them, and then Openbox and i3. So you stay in the same system, don't have to do anything, but you have already three test desktops in one. That's the merger. That's why that was my idea to merge. Then at some point in time, discussions, community, questions, I said, okay, I could give people a bare ISO with no desktop, uh, with no applications, and then they install just the applications they want. So Arch Merged was born with a D, and that's what I call a base installation. Well, it's nothing fancy, you end up in the black terminal, do your thing. And then more and more, and maybe we should take a look as well, more and more we are getting um, extra and extra desktop environments. So Arch Merged 
will become bigger than Arch Merge. We have now four here, five is awesome, three here, five, three is eight desktops, and Arch Merge Gallery will provide us at least 60. What you see here is four by four, will provide you with 16 desktop environments on Arch Linux. I should say Arch Linux, eh, because it's not essentially Arch Linux. Arch Linux is phase four. I'll explain you later. So this is working with our ISO. Then it's Arco Linux. The thing is, the, the thing we, we do here in phase three is going to be a very long list. Over, I think, not, not 16, but I think 20 desktop environments. And I've, we felt, I felt, we felt the need to give it another name because it's going to be more and more important, this Arch Merged Gallery, this Arch Merged ISO. It's going to be a big gallery. And we had this session, this brainstorming uh, session with the theme, so lots of names. Okay. Then we had a short list of three. And at some point in time, uh, someone said, hey, why not just um, contact these guys at Arch Linux and explain to them who we are, what we do, what our name is, with Arch Merge. Hey, we want to promote Arch Linux. Uh, we want to make it easier for people to step in and start with XFCE and then gradually, gradually phase one, phase two, phase three, end up in phase four, which is going to be an Arch Linux way of installation. So that the learning process is more gradual than just throw it in. So we have discussed some terms and Arco Linux, as you can see here, and Arca Linux and Multi Arco were all good um, names, but uh, well, anything would go, but Arch Merge was a little bit uh, a problem because of the trademark and the licenses. We're using the word Arch. But there's no problem when I use Arco Linux. So we went for Arco Linux. So we decided to rebrand everything. And since that was on the top of our three here, everybody agreed. Uh, let's go for Arco Linux. And there it is. So we're gradually moving into point number four. What will change for you? Ah, the website. So arcolinux.info is going to be the archmerge.info. You will see that it's very similar. And here it says we will go online 1st of April. It's not a uh, joke. I know it's April's Fool's Day, but it's always the first of the month. So then we'll have arcolinux, the naming, the numbering, is the same and the naming is different. The logo is different and the sign, little sign for the A from Arco. Okay, so websites will differ. Let's keep going. ArcoLinux.com, which is ArchMerge.com. So here we explain XFCE, Openbox and i3. Everything here, just trying to put everything in some logical category so you can find your stuff and all the fixes if we need one. What else? This one is the Arco Linux D. So here we find the same uh, pictures, of course, uh, Arco Linux, but then this time we'll continue here. So here we'll add awesome and not only the other one, the Arch Merge websites will disappear, obviously. Then we have moved already our forum. So the other one is closed. Arch Merge Linux forum is, Arch Merge forum is closed. And this one is open for business, arcolinuxforum.com. It's a copy paste, so everybody should have their own login and password still. Then there is something we should discuss later. There is um, arcolinuxiso.com that we have bought for a reason. That's the long-term vision. And then we have uh, Arco Linux GitHub. That's also new, and so we had the GitHub, no problem there. But something changed. We open up our doors, meaning we can uh, we share with you our ISO. Here you see, for instance, the Arco Linux D ISO, and that's the reason for that. Second one is Arco Linux with a D. Here are all the scripts. If you want to install already 
article awesome you can check it out and see what scripts we'll use to install awesome in a few weeks time with tutorial so everything that we find in arch merged d these elements here we'll just find them in here there so a renaming instead of amd it's arco now so arch merged amd arco linux arco and here all the 20 or so desktops will have all the scripts ready for just to install it last one long-term vision arco linux iso what's that and then maybe the most important one that's point five what's our planning now this was not a contest of design which i quickly made this thing here just to get my message across so beforehand you should know that we work in phases so a learning phase so maybe i should tell that as well repeat it phase one is going to be the iso of arch merge here you go you have open box i3 and you have um, xfc learn so that's the black one the black ones are the ones we have or we should have now not all of them because this one we do not have this one is the iso of arch merged with a d you can burn it on usb and go for it enjoy then you install in phase two xfc i3 or open box and in phase three we install everything in a few weeks time we'll install awesome phase four is completely out of the picture meaning out of the picture in the sense of this is not arco linux but i'll explain you how to do a um, proper arch linux installation without our iso but with the iso of arch linux so i must tell you very clearly that there are big difference what we do is we uh, use parts of arch linux we use parts of aur and we use our own arco linux packages and together we have a remix as they call it and we have our own system but it's not arch linux arch linux is the file the iso you get on the website from arch linux itself so that's this one that's phase four telling it let's do it the arch way of installation and then we have phase five but let's go back ahead to all these red things so what is this b y u o so BYOI, that's it, I think. Bring no, your own device is something that people know. Um, bring your own identity is what people also know. But we will change this acronym. We will say build your own ISO. That's big news. This means you have complete freedom. You can burn your personal ISO. This means a lot of tutorials to explain, hey, how do I do it? How do you do it? Uh, what not to do, what to do, and so on. But still very simple, so very basic. For instance, an example, I have three three browsers and say, no, 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 just one, one browser, that's it. Well, you put a hashtag in front of the other two, burn your ISO, put it on USB, done. It's that simple. So we'll have full flexibility, full freedom, full liberty to do whatever you want with this ISO. It's there online. You do whatever you want with it. The only thing we ask is um, keep the GPL3, which is um, a license. Um, but for the rest, do anything you like. Phase two is the Arch Linux of the Arch Merged, sorry, Arch uh, Merged iso that we have and we change the name in arco linux d again this is an iso it's available on github so why not edit things and say no i don't want that kind of driver i want this kind of driver and i want that kind of desktop and so on you start adding things and deleting things the same but this is for xfce and this is for budgie awesome cinnamon etc and then the last thing is, um, has been in my head for, for quite a while, but um, 
we'll need to postpone that really to 2019 or even later. What's this? Phase 5 is a new fi phase that has never been told to anybody on the website here. And it's built your own ISO from scratch. And this has an Arch logo and this has an Arch logo, meaning we go to the wiki, we follow the tutorials there. Hey, how do we make an ISO? And we start finding out our way uh, to build what we did here, this Arco Linux, how to build your own ISO from scratch. But for that, we have to learn as well. We are learning every day and we'll need to learn more how to do that and then make tutorials about it and share it with you. So that's our long term vision. So I think we have enough work for the coming months and years to have fun and enjoy what we're doing. And that's uh, the main thing. That's why we do it, because, well, we get frankly, we get a lot of positive vibes back and not only vibes, we only get we also get um, donations. So thank you for all the donations in the past. They've helped us already a lot. Uh, so please keep uh, supporting us. See Arco Linux as going to school slash university. I teach and I give you knowledge and I do not believe in knowledge is power. I believe in knowledge is sharing. And so if I learn something, I try to share it. And um, well, like any school, you need an admission, you need a fee or something. Uh, so if it's financially possible, please keep supporting us. And there are possibilities here, PayPal, and this is without 10%, this is with 10%, and Patreon is there as well. So thank you already for uh, your donations. And last but not least, I want to thank you. That's uh, this company, I'm uh, sorry, this company. It's open here, actually. So our partner, we have a partner. Yes, the first one. So we thank howto.be, that's the website, how to solutions. They are hosting our websites and not only hosting them, we get their uh, support in time and in money. So the donations have not been used. So the rebranding did not cost us a penny, thanks to howto.pe. That's it for me. I hope you like what we're doing. Uh, and if you do, well, think about us when you have two euros or two dollars left. If everybody donates a little bit, then we'll get um, plenty of money to host all these and buy all these plugins and themes and all that. All right. Rest me only one thing to say. What's our motto? Learn, have fun, enjoy.